Andy Tirstein, Shalom. Shalom. Hi, everybody. And welcome to Culture Buzz. I'm happy to be here. Actually, in your case, we should say welcome to Israel. Yes, yes. Andy, you are a talented musician, composer. You are a student of Lenny Bernstein. And recently, you came out with a new opera. A Blessing on the Moon. That's right, A Blessing on the Moon. So, Mazal Tov is in order. What can you tell us about this unique opera? Ah, the opera is, is uh, based on a novel by Joseph Skybell. Joseph Skybell is a novelist in uh, America, and he has written this piece, which is a... a Really, there's nothing like this, this book. It's very unusual. It's uh, written about his grandfather, Chaim Skibelsky, uh, and it is based uh, on a historical... Um, okay, the waiters are talking. Okay. Uh, the historical uh, events, yes, in Poland at the end of World War II, uh, in which... Um, and I'll just say that what drew me to the book was... Um, the, the, the language of it, the imagination, um, the story of the journey of this man who uh, is in a kind of an altered state because he, along with all the villagers, are brought to the edge of a pit, as many were, and are shot. And that's how the book begins. He thinks, uh, wait a minute, maybe I'm not, I'm not dead because he's still conscious in the pit. And when the soldiers leave, he climbs out and he runs through the woods uh, you know, uh, and comes to his village, to his town, and um, looks for his house, and, and, and his house, the, the Poles have taken over his house, and there begins this, this journey. His Rebbe has become a crow. And the amazing thing is that, although the novel is based in, in, in this historical moment, uh, to begin with, it is actually um, a journey story in which very unusual things happen. Amazing things happen to him. I think in literature, yeah. they uh, describe yeah. this as fantastic realism. Yes, uh, magical realism. Magical right. realism. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of, I mean, people like Borges and, and people like right. that are like, the fathers of this kind of thing. But, so you had um, to take this fantastic literature piece yes. and match it with your fantastic music. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Uh, and uh, the, the piece is incredibly musical to me. It always was. The um, uh, the language of it is is poetic. It's, it's not just, it's not poetic. It's it's uh, in the prose. The words themselves are singable. Let's put it that way. And in fact, uh, when we wrote the libretto together, uh, Joseph Skybell, the novelist, is a prize-winning novelist. Um, we uh, we ended up just drawing on the words of the book itself instead of adding new words or tr creating a separate libretto that has its own. Own words. We drew from the book and just carved it, carved it in such a way that it became the libretto. Now, this opera, uh, some of its acts were already uh, raised yes. in New York and Vancouver, but the opera as a whole is still waiting for its world premiere. That's right, and we are hoping, uh, our dream is to bring the opera to Israel. Uh, we um, feel that it's a universal story, it's a journey story. Uh, and um, we would love to have it be a joint production between America, or North America, Poland, and Israel. And if we can, if we can stop along the way in Germany, that would that would be even better. But uh, that's our dream to do it here. And what is also interesting is that you take a historic tragedy and you try to almost amend it. I mean. There is an American cast, and there is a Polish cast. That's right. So a bridge building. A bridge building, exactly. Based on this history. Yes. And uh, the Polish cast, as you say, are the musicians. They are the musicians of the fabulous, uh, world-renowned, um, uh, Grammy-nominated Warsaw Village Band. The Warsaw Village Band uh, members are... I spent time with them in New York when they, we had them do this, and they're just wonderful people. They play all these wonderful old folk instruments that are unusual. Uh, so the sound of it is, is of the Polish folk roots. <laughs> uh, and um, 
So the idea here is to really make a kind of a tikkun. I mean, not that there can ever be a, 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 a kind of a reconciliation, but there can be a kind of a nodding of the heads of both cultures, you know, over this event. And what happened was that uh, we were in a bar in New York uh, with the band, when the band was performing uh, separately from the show. And I discovered in talking to one of the band members that her grandparents actually had harbored Jewish re refugees during the war. So they were, in fact, her, I think her grandfather was a, a, a righteous person uh, award. Saving truth. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the small world. Small world, yes. Yeah. And none of the band members are Jewish, but they all feel it's very important for them as Poles to be a part of this, this piece. Yeah. Andy, what can we wish you in your opera? Well, you can. I, what I hope you'll do is uh, people will, will wake up to uh, the fact that there is a Jerusalem Opera Company. Uh, Omer Ariely is the music director, and the Weitzman, uh, Manon and Joe Weitzman, are, um, are involved in it. And uh, Julie Pesner, who's a marvelous um, uh, director, she's directed Shostakovich, they're all creating this opera here, uh, this opera company. They had their premiere gala in March, and um, they seem to be interested in producing it here uh, with our New York producer, Beth Morrison Projects. Wonderful news. So we are hoping that we can actually do it here. Excellent. Yeah. And we will add to your humble wish uh, a bigger one, if we may, that this opera will go all over the world with this universal message that everybody should hear and uh, listen to. So I want to thank you very much, Andy, for taking the time. Wish you all the success in the world. And maybe this is the time to uh, mention Karen Nave. Yes. From Project Interchange of AJC. Without her, we would never meet. We certainly wouldn't have. So Karen Andy, the best. enjoy your time in Israel. And we hope to see you soon when thank your you. opera... Uh, comes up and here in Israel. Ivri, thank you, and I would like to just take a moment to encourage people to check out the opera in more detail at www.ablessingonthemoon.com. Absolutely. So all the blessings. Toda. Toda rabbi. Shalom, shalom.